Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Travel Cuba Season 2. As you can see, we are leaving the resort. This is still Pullman Cayo Coco. We are going on a day trip with a boat. I'm gonna be your tour guide today. Hola. So, Hola. nice to meet you, everybody. How are you doing today? Excited? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So, I need to tell you something. There are three rules you need to follow when, when going out on a catamaran. The first one is to drink at least 10 beers per person. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Then you have to dance like a Cuban person. You have to shake your body today. Okay. Try to, yeah? yeah? And the third and most important one, that is to have fun, my friends. Okay? That is all about having fun. And then, after, I, I mean, around 1.30, you must be coming back to the Dolphin Center, which you can see here on your left there there's the restaurant where you are gonna have lunch today also there are some people around seven people here in the bus that after after you come back from the catamaran you're going to do the dolphin interaction right you pay for that and also my friends if you want to do it the rest you also have the opportunity to do it there we can talk to the trainers and you can swim around the pool with the dolphin okay just if you want to and then after lunch we're going to come back to the hotel okay so wait for me just here a few minutes and i will let you know Riding on a catamaran boat. Ay, big catamaran. It's a huge one. Barman, they can make for you. 
we make some funny names. In a way, I say that. And here we go, party time. Yes, this is a party boat, but don't let that deter you. Uh, the music is not blasting all the time, and besides that, it's not really that loud. I mean, it, it is loud, but it's not like too loud. And there are quieter spots on the boat, like the nets. You can hang around the nets, and it is much further away from the speaker, so it's not going to be nearly as loud there. Uh, I guess it is also pretty comfortable. This is the best excursion in Cayo Coco and it is absolute must. You can take it from any resort, you don't have to be in Pullman and also you don't have to be with Air Canada vacations. And yes, you're gonna be spending several hours on the boat drinking, probably. So, uh, washrooms are a must. They both look pretty much the same. On the one side uh, is the, the women's washroom, and on the other is the men's. So, they are separate, but they look the same. The one that you saw earlier in this video was the women's one. But besides partying, what else you're gonna be doing on this boat is uh, stopping on two different places by the quarries for snorkeling. And also they will stop at um, sandbar, so you will disembark the boat in the middle of the ocean and you will just walk around. But before we continue, I just want to talk about reasons maybe not to uh, do this excursion. And the only thing I really can think of is if you have little kids. They might not enjoy the noise and the partying so much, and it might be uh, snorting, maybe something for them. On the other hand, if your kids are teenagers, they'll totally enjoy this, they'll enjoy the party and the snorkeling. Now, in terms of the snorkeling, it will provide equipment, they'll give you a mask and glasses and everything you need. However, I do recommend that you bring with your own, especially right now with COVID and everything. Sunbar. It is too early for the sandbar and actually the sandbar will be in the next episode unfortunately this video was getting too long so i had to break it into two parts now this is january 2022 and yes because of covid the resorts are not full um, they have capacity limits and uh, not that many tourists so the excursions are also like limited. Um, most of the excursions are not available every day, and some of them even like once a week. One of the jeep safaris that I wanted to do was actually only available on Wednesdays. 
uh, and we couldn't do it simply because it, uh, like we didn't have a Wednesday available. But this excursion here, I believe, was available every single day, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is uh, available, and it is the best. Really, <laughs> this is really enjoyable experience. I mean, look at the cl crystal clear water here. You'll be cruising for a good part of the day. You can either party or lay down on the nets on the catamaran or sit down on the benches. Um, it's totally up to you. And I really don't see how anyone can get bored. I mean, the time really flies when you're on the boat. And when the boat anchored, usually the music stops. Like uh, when the boat is anchored, usually you have other activities to do like snorkeling. They stop on two different places for snorkeling again and one at a sandbar but here we are arriving at the first place where we are going to go snorkeling and they are about to anchor here By this time I had gotten used to the mask and how to tie it up so it didn't let it uh, work. It's only like five minutes. It's only like five minutes swim. <laughs> and you're tired. Here is a person in the water. Uh, they were really far away and really hard to see, but I could see them. Um, it almost looks like nobody else was seeing them. Um, but it turned out that that was one of the crew members of the boat. I was concerned we were going to leave someone in the water here, but um, 
I went and talked to the crew and they weren't concerned at all. Uh, they said it wasn't one of this was one of their guys. And um, the boat did leave, but eventually it met with that person and they climbed on board. I'm not sure what they were doing. It almost looks like they were fishing, but they didn't bring any fish on board. At least it <laughs> and I guess this is the song. <laughs> they played it quite a bit on the boat, and um, I really like it too. It's uh, uh, Faruko and Peppas. <laughs> A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And this is a different version of Bella Ciao. A one that I hadn't heard before, at least it was new to me. And here we're nearing the second spot where we're gonna go snorkeling. Uh, I feel like most of the time we were circling around the coral reefs. Uh, it didn't look like it was very deep, and you can see how clear, crystal clear the water is. Can't really see what I'm taking a picture of because the sun. Okay, taking many, so you can choose after. <laughs> That is me in the water there, in case that isn't clear.
that rope here, I guess, uh, serves as a permanent anchor. They kind of like tie up to it, and so the boat stays in place. So I guess every time they park at the same spot. And yes, I did come out and stayed out for a few minutes, but decided to go in a second time. Uh, really, the coral reef here was much more beautiful, I guess, than the first place. Still, the coral reefs in the Philippines are way better uh, than this. Uh, we do have some videos on our channel. Unfortunately, at the time I was taking the videos with uh, with an iPhone in a pouch, so uh, the quality of the video is not great. Next time we go to the Philippines, store, I'll be using the GoPro. But we are about to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for spending the time today and uh, stay tuned for our next episode next time we will continue this trip and go to a sandbar after which we're going to go back to the port and we are going to go for lunch at a restaurant some people on the boat will be swimming with dolphins um i didn't do that because i've already done it in the philippines and i wasn't really interested in that but yes as part of this trip you could include swimming with dolphins and that costs a little extra <laughs> when you cannot swim only your feet can swim <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.